Hey everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy and this is your mini band cardio workout. This is day 26 of your momentum challenge. We are gonna get a heart pumping cardio workout using a mini loop band. However, if you don't have a band, you can still do this workout. We're gonna add a little resistance to make those muscles burn all while we keep your heart rate up and of course, I will give you lots of different options to work to your level. All you need for this workout are your bands if you got them and some space to move. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, so let's start just with a little march or jog, whatever feels good for you. Roll those shoulders to the back and to the front. You can make them a little bigger if you want. The goal with this warm up is just to get our muscles warm, get the blood flowing, get moving in a way that is similar to what we're gonna do in this workout. So again, if you don't have those bands, don't worry. Otherwise, one big deep breath in. You can just do it just like a basic cardio body weight workout. You can do the motions that we're doing with the bands so you get a little more upper body, a little more lower and a little more core but you just won't have the resistance and that is totally fine. If you're looking to get some bands, go ahead and lean side to side, rotate through those arms, shoulders, and wrists. My favorite bands are in the description below, along with the discount. Let's roll through our back, flat back down, and round it up. They are a really great tool to have because they're not very expensive and you can take them anywhere, right? You can Pick, pack them in a suitcase, you can take them on trips, you can have them stored anywhere. Hold it here, roll those shoulders forward and breathe. You can keep them in the living room or by your desk if you just wanna get something quick. So one of my favorite tools, if you wanna have something extra and not spend a lot of money, walk your feet in, round it up. So here is how it is going to work. If you have more than one band, keep them close by because we're gonna work in circuits and then we're also gonna put them together. So if you only have one band, totally fine. You just use one. Everything that we do, we're gonna go through a second time. So when we're doing upper and lower bands together, this will make sense once we get there, you can just alternate and the second time through, do whatever you do, did before. So I know that sounded confusing. Hamstrings up, bring it here. We're gonna do five different exercises in three circuits that we will go through twice. So your first circuit is five exercises where we're holding the band between our hands. So that way we're only moving from upper body. Our second circuit will have the band at our feet, either at ankles or knees. Our third circuit, we will have a band both upper and lower. Again, if you don't have that band, don't worry, you can still do the moves. And then we'll go through it all again. So if you only have one band, that third circuit, you can do first time upper, second time lower, or just pick. Hopefully that makes sense. It will as we go through. Our first round, we're gonna do 40 seconds of work, followed by 20 seconds of rest where I explain the next move. Our second time through, we'll get 45 seconds, followed by 15 seconds of rest. So go ahead and just tap it out. Make sure your water is close by. I'm gonna go ahead and talk you through your very first round. I'm gonna go with my lighter band because we're gonna be pulling upper body. You do you, be where you are today. You showed up today, you're successful. That's all that matters. So you pick whatever band works for you. And again, if you don't have a band, no big deal. Our very first move, we're gonna hold it on either side and we're gonna go side knees with a pull down. So you're pulling your elbow in, you're squeezing your side for that core you don't have the band, you're just here to here. You're getting that cardio. Then we're gonna take it to some bow and arrow lunges where you're pulling back like a row, dropping in that lunge. Then we'll take it to some side lunge triceps. We'll go 20 seconds each side. Then we'll take it to some jabs. Then we'll take it on the ground. So go ahead, grab it here. If you don't have it, no big deal. Start up top, here we go. Side. So you're gonna get that cardio we will do some things that are a little higher impact. Of course, I will give you a low impact option, but you're also gonna feel, just by doing something like this where we're not even high impact, you're gonna feel your arms, your core, 
and that heart pumping, right? So you don't necessarily need high impact. I'm always trying to remind you of this. If you need to go slower, you can, totally fine. If at any point you need to drop the band and just do body weight, that works too. 10 seconds, little less. Three, two, one. Tap it out for 20. So again, this first round we get a little longer rest so we can shake out those arms. This is why it's gonna be a good toning workout as well. Watch me here, I'm gonna lunge it back. I'm gonna take it here and bow and arrow. So pull like a row, drop in a lunge or a tap back. Ready, here we go. Pull it back and lunge, out to center. Out to center. Tap back works too. But if you can, really get low, core's engaged. We're getting back, we're getting shoulders and arms, and we're getting legs. No band, just pull, pull. Keep squeezing, lots of back, lots of arms. 10 seconds to go right here. Get low if you can. Yes. Good. Three, two, one. Relax, shake it out. Woo, those shoulders are gonna feel it, right? So, side lunge tricep. We're gonna hold it here. This hand is here. We're gonna lean into that side lunge. We're gonna push out for the tries. We'll go 20 seconds all on the right, 20 seconds all on the left. Hold it here, abs in tight. This side, here we go. And up. So this is where if you have a tighter band, that might be harder to do. You can even hold it here and push out. Try to get deep in the side lunge if it feels good for you. But again, you do you. If you want less arms and legs, more cardio, totally fine. Other side, here we go. Push and lean. Extension through the tries. Body weight is here. Yes. Breathe. 10 seconds. Again, tighter band, keep it in the center, but still push out. Yes, relax, good. All right, little bit of boxing. Body weight is just oh, jabs. We're gonna put it mid forearm, right? So you're here nice and tight. You wanna keep it out just a bit, keep that core engaged, punch as slower as fast as you want, just good form. Here we go, 40 seconds. Just here, little taps. If you wanna take it a little more cardiovascular, you can do out. Again, you're gonna feel the arms and shoulders. This is your body weight, low impact or a little higher. It's up to you, 20 seconds down, 20 to go. If you got that resistance, keep that core engaged. Yes, breathe. It's gonna roll up like that, guys, and don't worry about it. I should've told you that in the beginning. Three, two, breathe. Bring it down onto your knees. It rolls up on me. If it rolls up on you, that's okay. Just keep moving. Hold it right here in the center. If you need to modify on the knees, we're just here. You're just gonna do a little reach, little reach. It's small. Otherwise, we're gonna take it here. We're gonna do mountain climber for four. Reach, reach. Here we go, take off. You can put it here too, whatever works for you. Whew, 40 seconds, we're going. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. If you're on your knees, tap it back, tap it back, reach, reach. Tap it back, tap it back, reach, reach. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Little small reach. I know that feels a little awkward. If you wanna just keep the mountain climber, that works too. Five, four, three, two, and breathe. Shake it out, guys. All right, go ahead and bring it up. Quick sip of water. Give your hands a break from that band. We'll come back to that after we get all the way through. If you wanna keep moving, just take it to those jabs or that little tap out. It's up to you. Watch me here. This time we're going lower body, so I'm gonna move to my thicker band. It's up to you, be where you are today. So, we will start with it mid 
calf, right? So we're gonna do jacks. We're gonna go out and in. It's gonna be small range of motion, low impact is here, high impact is here. Then we're gonna move it up above our knees. We're gonna do a side step squat. Then we're gonna take it to a little shuffle, which is just gonna be a double step or shuffle here. Pushing out against it here. Then we'll take it down on our back, a little bit of a bridge. Then we're gonna do a bear plank with some tap outs. So a lot of hips, a lot of glutes, a lot of outer thighs, a lot of cardio, right? All right, so keep it down here. Mid calf, zip up in the core, roll those shoulders back. Go ahead and put it on if you haven't already. And here we go with those jacks. So nice and light on the knees, low impact, you're just stepping out. We're just here to here, breathe, right? High impact is a little more of that traditional jumping jack, but instead of getting those legs out wide, we're gonna keep it small range of motion so we really get those hips, right? You got 15 seconds. Low impact totally works too. Whatever you got, our arms get a little bit of a break on this one. On that last one, everything will be working. Don't worry again if that band rolls up, that's part of the process. Last one, relax. So let's actually keep it, sorry, keep it at the mid cap for this squat and side step. So breathe for a second, you can just tap. I know you still got that band on, but watch me. Get as low as you can, step as wide as you can, bring it back up. I'm gonna bring my hands in front. You can move them however you want. Just zip up in that core. Here we go, it's a squat. And breathe. Try to get low. Really drop the hips. Push out. So we really get those outer thighs. I know. We're gonna really feel them after this. Breathe. Down and up. Down and up. Good. You got 15 seconds. I know it's tempting just to want to step out, and that's fine. If you need a break from that squat, but if you can get low, so we get a little extra. Should keep that heart pumping. Three, two. One. Now we're gonna bring it up above the knees. All right guys, safety first, so go slow if you need to. You can make it just a slow side shuffle or make it a little more of a shuffle. You're still pushing out against those hips. Zip up that core, 40 seconds, right and left. Here we go. And breathe. So make sure you're still stepping wide, even though we're moving a little quicker. And again, if you just wanna do Double step and just keep it moving. That works too. How are those legs feeling? Breathe. Yes. Good. You got it, team. 15 seconds. Glutes, outer thighs. Heart rate should be up. I hope. Five, four, three, to breathe. Let's take it down on our backs. All right, guys. So start here. We're going to do a bridge and out. If you need to modify, especially if you are in that prenatal, postnatal, early postnatal diastasis recti phase, keep it with just the bridge. Otherwise, we're going to go up and out, punch, punch, up and out, punch, punch. Ready? Join me. 40 seconds. Up and out, punch, punch. Punch, punch. Up and out. Make them two separate moves. If you want a little extra, guys, punch on that crunch. Up and out. Punch on that crunch. Breathe. Yes. 10 seconds. I know you're getting a little breather from that cardio. Last one. That's okay, because it's coming, right? There's always gonna be one move that takes it down just a little bit. Keep it at those knees. Zip up in that core. Watch me here. Pre, post, DR, anybody who needs to modify, you're just gonna tap out, tap out. Otherwise, lift up in that bear plank. Here we go. Tap, tap, or out, in. So bear plank, knees are directly beneath the hips. If you can, hover, knees up, just with that tap, or that jump. 
but you're staying in that bear plank. We're halfway there, 20 seconds, so if you need a little stretch, take it, bring it back up into it. Again, modification, if you don't need to be in that plank for whatever reason, is just to tap it out. Whoo, you're still gonna get those hips, 10 to go. Breathe. Yes, three, two, one. Ha, yes, team, take that off for now. Ha, shake it out, grab a sip of water. Whew, I know, lots of legs. Are you ready for circuit three, guys? If you need a little hip stretch, take it here. Otherwise, you can just take it to that shuffle with just body weight or double step if you wanna keep moving while I talk you through this. All right, two bands. If you only have one, just put it maybe lower on the, upper on this one, lower on the next one, or wherever you prefer it. If you don't have any, don't worry about it, just do the moves. Here's what we're gonna do, guys. We're gonna start with it mid-calf with our lower. We're gonna take it here with our upper. So we're gonna do those jabs again with that tap out. You can take it a little quicker. Safety first, guys. You're banded up with two bands. So do what feels most comfortable for you where you can stay safe and you can keep moving. Then we're gonna move it up to our knees and we're gonna do a little pull and a pull. Then we're gonna do a side step with that press try. We're gonna take it down to a bicycle and a plank. So go ahead, grab that band if you haven't already. We got 40 seconds, mid calf, whoo, right? And mid forearm, 40 seconds, starting now, jab and tap. So remember, we're keeping that tension here, so we keep the shoulders working, core engaged, tap out, tap out. If you wanna make it a little more, and again, if this doesn't feel good for you, take one or both of those bands off. If you don't have any bands, you can just keep it with a regular tap out and jab, right? This is our third circuit. After this, we go through it all again. Don't worry. Breathe. Ha. Five, four, three, two, breathe. Awesome, guys. All right, so pull it up above your knees. Go ahead, grab it here. We're gonna pull down with the knees. Here we go. Pull, pull. So I want you to think about that pull down with upper, that standing crunch with the knees. If that band rolls, don't worry about it. You're going same side, same side. You should feel that heart rate getting up if you've got those bands without being having to jump. If you don't have the bands, if you wanna jump a little bit, you can. Woo, but if we jump with those bands, that's gonna happen, right? Again, it rolls up on me too, it's okay. 10 seconds. Yes, three, two, one, all right. All right guys, so I want you to take it. Now let's keep it above the knees. You're gonna hold it here. We're gonna go step out with that squat. It's not the side lunge, press out with the tries. So step out with the squat, press out with the tries. We're gonna keep it 20 each side. Here we go. One side 20, push it out. Again, if you have, if you need a little more resistance, you're here. If you got no band, just push, push, yes. Keep it going. Triceps, hips, I know. Breathe, yes. Other side, here we go for 20. Step it out, good. Push it out, really extend so we get back of the arms, work in two. Yes. Five, four, three, two, breathe. Take it down, guys. All right, we're gonna move that band all the way to your feet. So it's here. All right, guys, so we're here. Modification, I want you to just lift the knees here to here, and you're just gonna press out. Otherwise, bicycle. You're pushing and pulling and you're pulling those elbows down like a row, right? So we're here. If you need to modify, I want you to do little knee raises and pull. 
So wherever you are, you be where you are today. Good, lots of core. Think about that pull in just as much as that push out. So that pull towards you is where you're really gonna get that deep core, 10 seconds. You can lift those shoulders if you want. Yes, breathe. Good. And relax, guys. Guess what, last move, no band. Take them off. We're gonna get side plank, 20 seconds each side. We're just holding on this first one. Don't worry about the bands, I know. So zip it up. You can be on the knees, you can be on the toes. 20 seconds, lift it up, here we go. Just holding here, right? Lift it up if you can. We got 20, try to get that hip off the ground. Core is engaged, everything is knitting together. Elbow beneath the shoulder. If you're feeling that shoulder too much, pull it in a little bit or take it out. Figure out where you are, three, two, one. Switch your sides. So you can either swing those legs around or just turn right around, lift it up. Here we go for 20. Guys, after this, we get a one minute break. Then we do it all again. It's gonna go by quicker this time because you know what to expect, right? Lift it up, zip it up, 10 seconds. Just a little bonus core. Yes, three, two, one. Bring it up. Ha, you did it guys. One time through, can we do it all again? I think so. Whew. All right, so go ahead and breathe. Whew. Whatever you got guys, if you wanna just take it with some little uppercuts to get that cardio going, you got one minute to breathe or take a real breather, but give those arms and legs a little break from the resistance. Keep the cardio going if you want. All right, this time a little bit longer, 45 seconds of work followed by 15 seconds of rest. We're gonna go through those five moves with the upper body band, five moves of the lower body, and then put them together. That's all we got guys, all right? So go ahead and get your lower body band ready. Remember our first jump, we're gonna do pull down side knees. If you wanna add a little jump, you can. Bow and arrow lunges. We got our side lunge tricep. We'll still go 20 each side. We got our jabs, and then we're gonna take it down just with a mountain climber. I'll get you there. So go ahead, grab it. <sighs> nice and tight, core engage. Side knee for side abs. Bring it up, 45 seconds. <sighs> really pull it in. If you can't get the elbow to the knee, that's okay, but I want you to think about that pull. So we get the upper body and that side knee. Again, if you don't have a band, you're here to here. You can even, either way, you can take it up with a little more of a jump. It's up to you. Take it here, take it here. Yes, good. We are so close. We got 15 seconds. I don't know about you, but I don't need to jump to feel my heart rate on this one. I feel my shoulders, I feel my back. Yes, five, four, three, two, one. I feel my abs. Shake out those arms. We're gonna bring it out in front. We're gonna row like a bow and arrow as we lunge. If you wanna tap back instead of a lunge, you can do that too. Zip up in that core, out in front if you got that band. Here we go. Drop it down, drop it down. Yes, breathe, get low. If you need a little less leg, tap, tap, breathe. If you don't have the band, just here to here, breathe, yes. Ah, keep it going, Woo. We got 15 seconds, keep that core engaged, shoulder blades back, yes. You guys, after I do these band workouts, you know where I really feel it is that bra bulge right here where we really wanna target. So that's what we love loving for this last one. Relax, shake it out, tap it out. Side lunge, lean into it if you can. Push out for the tries if you got that band. One is gonna stabilize, one is gonna push for triceps. Ready, here we go, 20 seconds each side. I know, it's 45 second round, but we'll give ourselves a little transition. Try to get deep. And again, think about that extension. If you got the resistance, if you need to move it in a little bit, you can. 
Really push back of the arms. Three, two, one. Breathe, shake it out. Same thing, other side for 20. Here we go. Try to keep it up tight. If you got the room and the strength, other is here. If you can't push it out all the way, it does not mean that you are not strong. It means you have a tighter band. <laughs> yes. Five, four, three, two, one, and breathe. All right, guys. It's those jabs again. How about we mix it up and we make it uppers? You're gonna take them a little more to the front of your body. Core is engaged. Keep it nice and tight. Here we go. If you wanna tap it, you can. I know the upper is a little harder, so you can take it jabs too. You can keep it stationary. Remember, you gotta keep a little resistance, a little pull out to have that band really be working for you. Little taps if you want, even little jumps, as long as that feels good for you. Yes, arms. Little bit of biceps with this as well, right? And we get that upper, 15 seconds. Yes, burn. <laughs> I love it. Five, four, three, two. <sighs> Breathe, shake it out. All right, guys, so this time, I just want you to hold that tension with your hands. We're not gonna lift, because I know that's tough. Modification, you're just gonna tap it out, mountain climber, keep that resistance out. Otherwise, here we go. Tap it in or run it in, it's up to you. Again, modification, you're keeping the resistance, you're tapping it out, tapping it out. But you're keeping these arms as wide as you can hold it to get the shoulders Get the back of the arms, get your back. If you need a little breather, we're at the halfway point, get a little stretch, bring it back up, finish strong, 20 seconds. Knees come into your core, into that chest, so you can get more of that crunch motion, even if you're just tapping. Don't lose that push out on the band with those arms. Five, four, three, two, breathe. Ha. Ah. Right? Woo. We made it through arms, guys. We got our lower next. Catch your breath. I'm gonna readjust this shoe. Grab a quick sip of water. Grab your tighter band if you got it. Get ready for that lower body. If you wanna just take it uppers to keep it moving in this little breather, stay here. All right, guys, so we're starting it at our mid calf. If you remember, we're going to start with those jacks. Woo! You can keep it low impact. You can take it high. We're going to do those little side steps with the squat, with or without the squat. We're going to move the band up. We're going to take it to that shuffle. We're going to add a little bridge and out. That's going to be our little breather. We'll add a little punch and crunch. And then we'll take it to that bear plank with either the jacks out or the little taps out. All right, go ahead and grab that band. Bring it up mid-calf. Nice and tight, wherever it can be. Don't worry if it rolls up. Starting with those jacks in three, two, one. Here we go, 45. Nice and strong. I want you to stay sort of mid-foot strike, balls of your feet, not in those heels. Knees are soft. Listen to yourself land. Does it sound like this? Try to make it sound like this, right? Low impact is fine too. And again, I know those arms are tired from all that resistance, but really precise with those arms, not just floppy, loosey-goosey arms. Let's really get them out there, right? Yes, 10 seconds to go. What do you got? You got no band? You're still feeling this, right? Five, four, three, two, breathe. Yeah, catch your breath. All right, side step. As wide as you can go, as low as you can go, bring it in. Try to really push out with the knees. We're still getting those hips. Get low in that squat if you can. Ready, here we go. 45, drop it down. If you wanna add a little, you can. So I'm gonna give you a little more cardio on this last round, as you probably noticed. 
So drop it low, breathe. If your legs just really aren't feeling it, maybe you had a tough strength workout yesterday, you can still get just a little step out with or without that jump. 15 seconds to go. Let's make those legs booty burn. Yes, 10 to go. What do you got for me? Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Shake it out. Whew. Breathe. Bring it up. I know you hate it when I say 10 to go. Five, four. <laughs> All right, guys. So take it here with that shuffle. Nice athletic stance. Here we go. So shuffle, shuffle. You're just moving laterally side to side. <sighs> Breathe. Low impact, it's just a double step. A little higher impact, you're shuffling. If you want even more, reach. Shuffle, 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 reach. Or punch, up to you. Feel the legs burn, feel that booty. If you need a breather, just take it low impact. You can keep it high or low. Low, you'll get a little more legs, right? Yes! There we go. Breathe. Yes. Relax. Whew. Let's take it down, guys. Heart rate is up a lot. Let's give it a little breather. Modification, especially my pre post DR. Up and out. Everybody else, if you want, up and out. Crunch and punch. Here we go. Up, out. Crunch, punch. Woo, keep it going. It's always, I always pull my mic when I do that. So you can just be booty and core from here, especially my pregnant mamas. But if you want, you can add that little crunch, punch. Up and out, crunch, punch. Or I guess it's crunch and punch, crunch and punch. 15 seconds. Yes. I keep moving backwards on my mat. Last one. And relax, good. Flip it over on your knees. Last one lower, guys. Then we're into that last round. So zip up in that core on all fours. Modification, especially if you shouldn't be in plank right now, is just to tap it out. Otherwise, here we go. Lift it up, tap out, or jump it out. At the halfway point, we'll take a little stretch break if you need it but we're trying to stay in that bear plank position, keep it hovered so that core stays engaged. But if you need to, little knee taps out instead of the plank. We're halfway there, a little stretch if you want. Bring it back up, finish it out, 20 seconds. Really try to push out with the knees so we really get the glutes working hard. Or tap out, but that core is lifting the whole time. Lots of core, yes, five, Four, three, two, one. <laughs> Relax. Ah, good work, team. Whew. You can take it off to get a little breather. You can get a little hip stretch. Final push, right? A little stretch here. Let's get it done, all right? So. What we got, guys? is, right? We got that double, double round, right? So if you wanna keep working, keep with that shuffle. You got 40 seconds to move. I'm gonna talk you through it quick. So band is gonna start at the ankles and the arms, jab and tap out. No band, you're just here. And if your arms and legs are just spent, guys, totally fine to do no band. Then we're gonna hold it here, bring that band up to the knees. Really think about that crunch. Then we're gonna do that side step press. We'll go all on one side, then all on the other. We'll take it down for that little bicycle pull. And then we're gonna do that side plank, right? All right, go ahead and grab it. Start it at the ankles, or mid calf rather. Grab it here. Put your hands through, right? Ready? Here we go, 45. Jab and tap. Low impact here. If you feel safe, even though we're all banded up, if you wanna take it a little more, oh, that's gonna happen, guys. Look, 
I know you always ask me, how do I keep it from rolling? You can't, it's just gonna happen when you're moving fast. So just readjust, don't worry about it. It doesn't matter. Yes, good. I know, arms and legs and cardio. You've got so much resistance that your body is working against if you're using this band that you don't really need to be going fast to feel it, right? But if you want, last five, four, three, two, and one. Right, move that band up above your knees. We're pulling the knee in for core. We're pulling it down for back. Same side, same side, here we go. 45 seconds. I want you to think about a standing crunch, right? So you're here contracting everything in. Even if you're pregnant or postnatal or DR, just think about pulling everything in. It's not too much crunch, don't worry. Yes, we're here. Good. Breathe. Ha! 20 seconds to go. I know you guys love my sound effects. That means I am really feeling it right there with you. Yes. Good. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, team. So let's keep it here. We're going to hold it here. We're stepping out in the squat, pushing out in the tri. So not the side lunge. It's the squat. We're kind of combining our first round and our second round. Here we go. 20 each side. Breathe. If you want, you can add a little jump, but I still want you to focus on pushing out with the arm, pushing out with the legs. 10 seconds this side. Breathe. Three, two, one. Relax those shoulders. Get ready. Same thing, other side for 20. Yes. Good. You can jump it if you want. Don't forget about that push. If you're jumping it, don't just let it all go. Keep that strong. Push out. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Take it down. We're so close. We're going to move that band at our feet. So go ahead and bring it here. Band at your feet. Remember, we're here. Little pull in. If you can, bring it up. Pull it down, 45. You can lift the shoulders in the crunch if you want. Modification is just the knees and the pull. So you're still getting upper, you're still getting that core, but if you can really focus on the pull in with that knee to get that crunch lift. Yes. Take a look at that core, is it pushing out? Readjust, pull it in, 10 seconds. No, now 10, right? <laughs> Here we go. Four, three, two, and one. Yes, good. No band. Last move, side plank. How about we add a little dip with it, guys? Here we go. Bring it up, down and up for 20. Knees or toes, just lift and lower. You can use this hand if you need to. Breathe, yes. Up and down. Up and down. Three, two, one. Swing those legs around. Let's get same thing. Other side, I'll worry about that in a second. Here we go. Take it up and down. You're on your knee, that's fine too. Again, adjust this elbow if you need to come in a little bit, if you're feeling too much shoulder. Breathe, 10 seconds. Zip it up, lots of obliques. Five, four, three, two, one. Guys, we got it done. Let's do one last bonus move. You know I love them. We're gonna stay down on the ground. I don't know what's happening here. All right. One bonus move of 40 seconds. So band at your ankles and 
band at your forearms. Watch me. Woo. All right. So we're in a forearm plank. We're going to take it nice and wide. We're going to tap it out, tap it out, and jack. So if you need to modify, you're just going to be here. Tap out, tap out, tap out, tap out. But you're going to stay on your knees. Everybody else, if you can, you're going to go out and in, out and in, out and in, out and in. Got it? So we're pushing out for elbows. We're jumping or tapping out for hips. It's our last move, guys. This is all we got. Finish it out strong. You can do it 40 seconds. Stay modified on the knees if you need to. Bring it down if you can. We're gonna stay as wide as we can. Push up for those arms. Here we go. Out and in, tap and tap. Out and in, tap and tap. Out and in, tap and tap. Yes, you got it. This is our very last move. You are so strong. I know this was a long workout, but you can do it. Yes. There we go. 15 seconds. How about for this last 10? Take the arms out of it. Just take the feet. You can tap it or jack it. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah, stretch it back. Whew. Take those bands off. You did it. <laughs> I know, guys. Whew. That was a lot, right? A lot of resistance. 40 minutes straight of resistance. So first things first, let's take those knees out. Our inner thighs are actually working really hard to be the opposing muscles, the assisting muscles of all that outer thigh work. So take it here, fold it over, whatever is comfortable for you. And breathe. A lot of shoulders, right? So let's reach it up. Sit however is comfortable for you. If you need to move to a chair, the couch, that works too. Stretch it over. And breathe. Other side. So again, you may feel some different types of soreness tomorrow. No, it's cardio. We got a lot of resistance. Let's let your head drop to one side. So if you feel a lot of shoulders, maybe even a little bit of neck because those muscles were working too. Just get these stretches. I promise it's okay. And I hope that you feel a lot of back. Again, anytime I do those pulls with a mini band, I notice that right around here, these muscles where we get that little bra bulge, I feel sore and it's always a good kind of sore. So take it across, roll through that wrist, really drop the shoulder into it. Of course, make sure you like this video and that you subscribe to my channel. When you subscribe, that helps me be able to keep making completely free workouts for you here on my YouTube channel. So please subscribe, turn on those notifications so you know when I have a new workout release, which is usually around three times a week, sometimes more, sometimes less, take them up to here. And you know, when I have a challenge or a live video uh, coming up, Speaking of challenges, click the links in the description below. Join us in my BodyFit Athletic Club if you're looking for a little more of uh, support and accountability within the group. We have a Facebook group and you get so much more. <clears throat> you get monthly challenges new every month, complete with clickable weekly and monthly workout calendars using these videos as well as others. Let's take it into a little hip stretch. So two options here. You can cross it seated, either in a chair, on the couch, or on the floor, or take it into that pigeon stretch, if it works for you. But this sometimes is hard to get into, so do what's best for you. Also in the BodyFit Athletic Club, you get a nutrition plan designed by Vivian, our BodyFit dietitian, and you get direct personalized support and guidance from myself and from Vivian within the group. We do live Q&As, we do uh, cover different topics every week, and then of course we're there to support you and give you and answer your specific questions. Switch it here, here we go. If you're seated, just cross over that other leg. So make sure you check it out there. We would love to have you join us. It's a really fun group. You can also click the other link and find my eBooks and programs and nutrition guide, all available on my website. And of course, sign up for the newsletter where you get the free monthly calendar every month. Whew. We're here. And just roll through your backs, cat to cow. 
Nice work, team. Remember, if you showed up today, you are successful, whether or not you had a band, whether or not you <clears throat> got through all of it or did the same thing as me, it does not matter. Let's sit one more time. Let your head drop and then take that opposite hand through that wrist, again, stretching through here. You showed up, that is all that matters. Remember to always be where you are today. Just show up and keep moving. Those are the goals, right? Other side. Breathe. Head drop. Roll those shoulders. One more time, big deep breath in. Thank you for showing up and moving with me today. You did it. That was your mini band cardio workout. Great job, everybody.